How we doing guys, Moose here, Season 2, Episode 27 of our West Ham United Career Mode, and we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, for this next game, we're playing against Swansea City, as you can see, but what I actually did in this game was, I actually did this kind of as a live commentary, I basically recorded myself, uh, you know, with the PVR, while I was playing the game, so it has all my reactions, um, there are a couple of dead spots, uh, just one or two during some of the highlights when I wasn't really saying anything. Um, but other than that, this is going to be all my live reactions while I'm playing the game. Uh, so hopefully it's something different for you guys to enjoy. We'll get back to the regular stuff uh, in the next episode, but give this a try. So um, here is the game. Sydney Sam, Sydney Sam. Get forward, son. That's a good strike. Jarvis, hit it. Oh. Couple of really good saves from Michelle Watson. Hook it. Good play. Oh, that's a great ball. Sydney can get onto that before them. Stop it. Danny Yang's goal. Oh, penalty. Yes. Not really sure why he's giving it, but we'll take that. Absolutely, we'll take that. Um, Grenier stepping up to take it top right corner. Oh, that's beautiful. He wants a ball, son. Way to beat Clement. Great finish. Great way to start. Really nice finish from Clement. Sends for him completely the wrong way. The last game. Oh, there it is. Oh, Tompkins will make it. Lucky. Lucky. Oh, no, no, no. Trippier, good play. Winston, clear it. Oh, that's just... Not good. It's a really nice goal from Swansea. Well worked. Bonnie's going to get that. You expect Winston Reed to make a break. He didn't even go off for the ball. This is shocking. Oh, my God. Foul. Give it to Clement. Why isn't Clement on the ball? Look it in, son. Get ahead. Yes. Sydney Sam with the header. Come on. Great ball in from Grenier. Even better finish from Sydney Sam. Look at him just climb. Oh, it's perfectly played in. Fizzed in delightfully. It's a great header. Really nice ball in from Grenier. He just shows how strong he is from set pieces. I considered almost putting it on goal at first, but then from 38 yards out. No way. Money. He was free. And he's got the pace to burn. This oh, he's Oh, Danny Ings. Hit it. Oh. Stay on it. Oh, I had Jarvis there. Grenier, 14 assists. That's just ab absurd. Granted, probably like 12 of them are from set pieces, but still. Hit it. Oh. Hit it again. Oh, good idea. Luke Shaw. Played over to him. Get on that, Luke. Oh, come in. Have a shot. No, play it. Grenier. Finish. Oh. Laka, is that how do you not score? It's a great play from Luke. Right to. Oh, it's a great save. Second save is even better, though. Luke Shaw's getting so far. Oh, great move from Luke. Oh. Danny Ings. Turn it. Hit it. Oh. Luke Shaw is just everywhere right now. He's playing sensational. That's a good ball. See, this is that nonsense about them not clearing the ball. And they're going to score. No, they didn't. Oh, my word. Oh, they hit the post twice. Play forward to him. Oh, he's got so much space and pace. 
Oh, he's got it. Hit it. Oh, great chance, Joshy. Hold him off, hold him off. Bonnie, oh, Adrian. Danny. Oh my god, Lacazette hit the post. Oh, great chance. We, I don't like having Reed that far out. We need him. Oh, no, no, no. No, Adrian, way to be. That's a great ball, Danny Ings. Oh, he's chipped him! Oh, it's beautiful! Yes! Danny Ings with the winner in the 90th minute. Oh my goodness, we just have to hold on. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that paid off. What a ball. I think it was from Luke Shaw. Oh, Dos Santos. That's a great run. In the corner. Got Joshi. Michael. Ravel, Ravel. Oh, Danny. Danny. Get in. Oh, my goodness. How have we not scored? Oh, that'll do it. Three points. Well earned. What a game. Danny Ings with the winner. So how about that for a finish? Danny Ings picking up the winning goal in the 90th minute, really cementing himself into this team uh, and into a part of the West Ham community. And we really deserved it, though. You saw we had 12 shots on target, really just dominated uh, Swansea for the majority of the game. And we get back into it, and as soon as we come back, we get an offer from the German national team, the current champions of the world, to manage their club. And, you know... Basically, I was waiting for an offer from Germany or England. Um, got the offer from Germany. Can't wait to play with some of those players. Absolutely going to be unbelievable. Muller, um, hopefully Schweinsteiger will still be on the team, uh, dominating him as usual. And I, Mesut Ozil is one of my favorite players, to be honest. Uh, so, can't wait to use him. Um, but, like I said, our next game then will be up against Manchester United. That will actually be in the next episode. But you're going to want to stay tuned to the rest of this episode for our Hammers headlines, which will close things out. Um, so we just kind of go through a little couple things to get towards the end of the episode here. We get our another Youth Squad monthly report as we actually head into the final month of the season. Take a look at Ignacio Guardado, who looks like an absolute tank. 65-69 overall right now. Going to have potential somewhere up towards 90, uh, which is awesome so can't wait to be able to get him in the team we're gonna actually sign him to a contract next year uh, I think we actually just hit May 1st which is what helped with that update that's usually when the youth players actually progress so uh, can't wait to get some of those guys in the team Andy Carroll wants to come back from injury and we shall see in the next episode but we're gonna close things out here with Hammers headlines we started off with the Hammers hitman Danny Ings finally hits form at the vital moment despite struggling to find his finishing touch for much of the campaign Danny Ings has hit a hot streak just at the right time for West Ham United. The England man scored twice in a 3-3 draw with Southampton and then struck again for the beautiful lobbed winner against Swansea. Fans were loving it just as much as MB Franchise said about the Southampton goal by Ings. Ings for goal of the season. What a ball. And then Nut makes the keeper for the cherry on top. Brilliant. Uh, and then the second headline here, the Barclays Premier League table, which you can take a look at right there, is set for overhaul in final weeks. Just six games remain for each team in the Premier League season, with the top seven separating themselves from the pack trying to claim uh, Champions League place. The Hammers have vital games against Manchester United and Arsenal in the next five days that could drastically shape both the title race and the race for the Champions League. Be sure to tune in to see the final episode of this dramatic season. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, being able to see my live reactions for a game for once uh, as opposed to the voiceover. But the voiceover, you know, it's easy to to do. It's still a lot of fun. Love having all the highlights in there. And uh, being able to kind of think out your commentary as you go along. But that said, guys, uh, let me know what you thought of this episode. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, as we continue. Should probably be only two or three episodes left 
uh, in the rest of the season. So we'll see how everything shakes out. So we will see you then, guys. Bye-bye.